As part of our celebration here today, we've got a very special guest named Anna Haverstock. And she is a female artist in Saskatoon and an all-around powerhouse. And I would like to welcome her to our show. So sit back, grab a beer, and enjoy the show. All right. <clears throat> Take it from me, you always wait until it goes off deep inside your brain. I'm in control, I have so much to gain. I don't even know you, but I want to show you how nice it is. I don't even know you, but I want to show you. talk they will try to help gracious and free that's how you want to live taking each step try and just forgive I don't even know you but I want to show you how nice it is I don't even know you but I want to show you how nice it is And if you are waiting for something amazing Well baby here it is Don't even know you but I want to show you How nice it is That's what I'm talking about. Singing with a mask on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I'm Anna Haverstock, and I'm going to play these lovely songs for you in this lovely building. Here's another one. This one's pretty new-ish. It's hard to say now, because time means nothing. <laughs> Said you didn't need it, said you didn't want it, said you didn't think it was right for you. And I just can't believe it, didn't want to hear it, just could not believe these words to be true. And then you broke my heart, and you didn't even better not. I've been taking time to figure out my next move. Slowly breathing away, and I hear your name. And I just can't avoid you. You are always right there. Let me heal and just shake off this pain. But then you broke my heart, and you didn't even bat an eye.
Awesome. Well, it sure is a treat being here at Nine Mile with these people behind the scenes you can't see. They're just the greatest. <laughs> They're doing such a great job. Uh, and I'm so happy to be here. And how purple do I look right now? Is it <laughs> pretty purple? <laughs> uh, like Tinky Winky? No. Which Teletubby is <laughs> I think it's that one. OK, this is a cover. Um, it's a John Prine tune. woman named after my mother my old man is another child that's grown old oh <laughs> whoops brain fart let me do it again just sings a song a hundred times and then forgets the words that's cool I am an old woman Named after my mother My old man is another Child has grown old The dreams were thunder Lightning was desire This old house would have burnt down A long time ago Make me an angel That flies from Montgomery Make me a poster of an old rodeo Just give me one thing that I can hold on to To believe in this living is just a hard way to go When I was a young girl I had me a cowboy There weren't much to look at Just a free rambling man but that was a long time No matter how I try All those years just flow by Like a broken down dam Make me an angel That flies from Montgomery Make me a poster of an old rodeo Just give me one thing That I can hold on to to believe in this living is just a hard way to go. There's flies in the kitchen, and I hear them buzzing. And I ain't done nothing since I woke up today. How the hell can a person go to work in the morning, come home in the evening, and have nothing to say? Make me an angel that flies from Montgomery. Make me a poster of an old rodeo. Just give me one thing that I can hold on to. To believe in this living is just a hard way to go. To believe in this living is just a hard way to go. This next one is called These y Years, and apparently we recorded it. My band and I recorded it five whole years ago, which is weird because it doesn't feel like five years, but hey, that's all right. All right, here we go. Andy, you ready? <laughs> okay. This time is gone. I have no idea how it's been 
stored away. One day you'll need a five. Someone to change my mind. But until then, you'll find me in my favorite place. I will never forget these years Since it's been going on This life, it feels so long I feel older every single day One day I'll need to find Someone to change my mind while I'm running on this never-ending race I will never forget these years And I will never forget these years Ooh, 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 ooh. you miss me too one day I know you'll come on back but until that day since you ran away I'm just gonna get busy living my life I will never forget Playing that song alone is so sad, kind of, you know? Maybe it's just because I miss my band. I haven't seen them in so long. <laughs> Shout out to my band. Oops. Sorry about that. Kick. Pow. Okay. Well, I guess, you know, uh, we're going to have an intermission pretty soon. But I, uh, is it cool I play one more song and then we do an intermission? Yeah. I got the thumbs up. Perfect. This is an old song that I played with my first band six moons later <laughs> and it's a classic so I hope you enjoy it try to forget when I see the love that you can share it gives me the hope I wish I were there yeah. it gives me the hope I wish I were there in your eyes yeah I can see what our future holds in your eyes yeah I can see what our future holds in your eyes, yeah, I can see what our future holds. In your eyes, yeah, I can see what our future holds. Most of us want the same thing in life. To be happy and to be all right. I look up to those who have it all and I look up to those who never fall yeah 
it never fall in your eyes yeah i can see what our future holds in your eyes yeah i can see what our future holds in your eyes oh i can see what our future holds in your eyes yeah i can see what our future holds For joining us. My name is Kate. I am the current taproom manager at Nine Mile Legacy. And I am Erin. I work in the taproom right now and we are coming at you all the way from Riversdale. Um, we are a premium craft beer brewery that focuses on making really good beer but we also focus on our community and making connections within that community. You may be asking why we're here today and you know I'm gonna be honest it's March 8th it's International Women's Day super awesome and for those of you that don't know what International Women's Day is about it's actually uh, when women all over the world come together and celebrate each other's achievements uh, you know doesn't matter what uh, background you're from, you know, whether it's a uh, different social background, economic background, cultural background, it's uh, something where we all just come together and celebrate each other uh, and regardless of that. So we, the women at Nine Mile, have been celebrating International Women's Day and we have been brewing all day yesterday, coming up with a really cool beer that we are super stoked for you guys to try. So keep an eye on our social media to see what we come up with. Yes, and something that we've been working on, it's a thing, it's a project that we worked on last year, it's called the International Women's Collaboration Brew Day. And this is a project that was uh, invented in 2014 by a group of uh, 60 brewers around the world where they came together and brewed the same beer. But now they, they release a theme every year and uh, everybody at their respective breweries, it doesn't matter if you're like a, an aspiring brewer, if you're a home brewer, if you're just a, a taproom employee, or it doesn't matter who you are. If you're a woman and you work in the, brewing, the craft brewing industry, um, it's where you can come together and network together and create uh, a beer based on the theme that is released by this project. And it's a super fun thing where you can raise money for your local charities. And it's something that we've decided we will be doing annually every year at Nine Mile Legacy. You know, Erin, there's this burning question that's really getting to me. And I'm wondering, what is your Nine Mile beer of choice? Oh, I think it would be the Rafiki. Um, you know, a little bit hoppy, um, you know, florally, all that good stuff. Very good to drink on a nice hot day. Wow. Yeah, I respect what that. What would yours be? You know, I, uh, I think my favorite Nanmo beer is the Eagles and Bulldogs because it's Ooh, like, it's yes. juicy, it's citrusy, it's got a full mouth feel mm. of delicious Nanmo goodness. But if I really had to choose, I love a good barrel-aged beer of any sort, of the mm -hmm. mostly of the multi variety, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, the boozier, the better, it's fine. You, you know do love the boozy beer. Yeah. I do, yeah. I uh, bartended for many years and I love a good bourbon. Very, very good. Yes, yes. so, okay. yeah. Well, another question for you. Mm -hmm. If you were a nine mile beer, what would you be? Wow, um, yeah. that's a really good question, Erin. I would <laughs> say that if I really had to choose, I would be the OC collab, the OG version of that, because it's sweet, it's mm -hmm. spicy, and it's unique. You do have some spice to you. I yes. do, yes. I think that I'm a little bit spicy, so, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, you know, I, I also am wondering, how did you uh, discover Naima? What brought you to us? Oh man, I would say the community and the people definitely brought me here. Yes, um, I loved beer beforehand, like before coming here, and I was just kind of getting into craft beer, but it was definitely the people and the community that surrounds Naima that really brought me here, for sure. And my love of beer has really blossomed. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, what I about you? I hear you have a very good story for that. You know, I, uh, I was working in the food and beverage industry for many years. I actually got a kinesiology degree and realized I wasn't really ready to pursue that. But uh, I, I kind of was sitting at my kitchen table thinking about what I was going to do with my life. And I said to myself, I really like craft beer. Why don't I just start there? So what I did is I scoped out um, the different breweries in Saskatoon and realized, you know, Nama Legacy is where I want to work because of the things that they do behind the scenes. They are involved in their community. There's a lot of connection through the uh, community initiatives that they do. And it was just really right up my alley and, and uh, spanning uh, kind of my beer knowledge was something I was interested in, and it's just kind of really taken off from there, so. So can, can you tell me why International Women's Brew Day is so important to you? Erin, that's a really good question. Uh, thank you. I, <laughs> I feel like this day is something that is, it's kind of, it's, it's a thing that I've been able to uh, completely um, surround myself with all these ideas that is, I guess, meaningful to me, um, we're able to come up with an idea that is strictly involved in our area of like, you know, empowerment and um, I guess, in, yeah, it's, in, mm -hmm. it's inclusive, exactly. So, you know, not only do we come up, the, come up with the idea for the beer, we come up with the recipe and we come up with the, we kind of like collaborate on the logo or the label for the beer. And then right through, straight through the, to the bottling day, it's something that we, we can just really feel proud of, the fact that we have completely come up with this beer on our own. Totally. And it's something that, like, we can, I mean, I feel super proud about it. And it's only the second year we've done it, but this is uh, a project that I believe that we'll be doing annually for as long as we can, mm -hmm. as long as we can do it. So what, what, what about you? What do you well, think? Well, I think it just really, like, speaks to who we are as a company of like, it really shows that we are very inclusive. We want to um, kind of show everyone's strengths and kind of um, include everyone in the decision process of making beer. Um, and I know kind of going into the whole craft beer scene as a woman can kind of be intimidating, um, but working at Nine Mile has shown just the opposite. It is very, they want you to grow, right? And they want you to be included in that brew process, which is awesome. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I totally agree. And I, uh, I think for me too, as coming on board, is you never really know what you're getting yourself into. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a, a brewing uh, company where it's, they're very encouraging and they're always speaking to your strength and, strengths and trying to make sure that you're doing the things that you're interested in and that you're strong at. And this is a project that we very much have been, um, you know, super excited about. And it's something that... We, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's fun and it's empowering and it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's just for us and it's something that we can just take as our own and, and you know, we, we are our own influences in this. Very exciting. Very, it's, very stoked to be a part of it. I'm very, very stoked yes. personally. Yes. Um, you know, our last beer, the full circle went really well. And uh, we actually just completed our sales for that, and people were super stoked about that. But I think our idea this year is uh, really quite exciting. Yeah, I feel like people are going to be really excited about it. I do too. It's going to be a tasty one. It's going to be tasty. Yes. yes, a summer crusher, as one would say. <laughs> a huge thank you to Anna for joining our project. It was super important for us um, to have a woman based in Saskatoon perform live and kind of perform and join this project with us. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Anna. That was awesome. Yeah, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing like having a badass like powerhouse come in here and just like take on this project with us. Um, it's something that we value so much as women in the industry. And you know, if someone can join us and, and make this an all around 
Uh, bad assery, if bad one assery. must say, you know, that's not a word, but today it today is a word. Is. I have created it personally. It's in the dictionary now. So um, <laughs> thank you so much, Anna. That was awesome. All right. So crack open another beer and enjoy the second half of the show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's easy on the eyes, but it's hard on my heart. Easy. challenge yourself right right guys right <laughs> yeah 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 nods all around perfect all right well um this one's new this is a new song nice and cheesy just the way you like it right liam <laughs> okay <laughs> Take care of yourself Don't you know you can ask for help Don't you know you will see it through Your friends are here to help you You're never truly alone Just pick up telephone calling you will figure it out it's all about but don't you want to see what will make you happy don't you want What'll make you happy? Don't 
guitar licks easier to do when my hands aren't so cold. <laughs> it's okay, I warmed up now. It's fine. Everything's good. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I have two more songs. Is that reasonable? All right. This one's on the album. Thanks to Nine Mile for having me, and thank you to the wonderful crew. It's been a very lovely day. Please enjoy Nine Mile Beer as many times as you can during the week, safely and with your social bubble. <laughs> there. I did it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. 